What is going on, everybody? Today, we're going to analyze the tape of the New Orleans Saints first string offensive line. But more so than that, I really want to watch the tape of left tackle Trevor Penning. As you guys know, he is one of the tackles that I think has a shot to be a very, very good tackle in the NFL. He's a guy that I think has a lot of upside. Obviously, he has to stay healthy because as we know in his rookie season, he really was not healthy. But if Trevor Penning's able to stay healthy and based off of some of what I saw on tape, the guy's going to be a very, very good football player. Let's get right into it. You got a zone run to the right of the formation. A beautiful job by the offensive line. Second play of the game, 12 yards. And this play right here was so perfectly blocked by the offensive line that if this is how this unit blocks, they're going to be a top five to seven unit in the NFL. You can see it right away how smooth this looks. From the right tackle to the backside tight end on the left side of the formation, everything just moves perfectly. You get two really nice double team blocks. The right guard here is going to double with the center. The center is going to overtake this block. And then the right guard is going to get up to the linebacker. And of course, Ryan Ramshek is going to block out. The fullback is going to leap through there. And just like that, you're going to get a 12 yard run by the running back. Just a beautiful job by the offensive line. But we're watching Trevor Penning, and I really want to stay focused in on him. To me, this is just a fantastic block. You know, for this play to work, someone has to pick off this backside linebacker. And based off the responsibility, it is the responsibility of James Hurst here. He has to get up to this guy. But the only way he's going to be able to get there is if Penning covers him. Penning gets to the defensive tackle there. And in this instance, you can see Penning does a fantastic job with the body positioning. He's going to get out in front of the defensive tackle. The left guard does a great job with the left hand on him, which ultimately allows Penning to get out in front and flip the hips. And to me, this is such a nice block because of the fact that he's able to fully shut this guy down. You know, if a lane doesn't develop right through here, let's say, for example, the center was not able to hook off the defensive tackle here. Well, because of the block by Penning, a lane could develop to the backside here. This is a really, really, really nice block here by Penning. The guy was very impressive in his run blocking, even in his rookie season. It was really just about him staying healthy and put together a consistent, you know, three, four, five game stretch. And we just didn't get that last season. But I think this year, if the guy's able to stay healthy, the potential's through the roof for a guy like Trevor Penning. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Check the rep out by Penning. He's going to do a fantastic job anchoring down against this defensive end. He gets out in a vertical set and he just shuts it down. Great body positioning. Both of his hands are going to latch onto the shoulder pads. Really locks in. And you can see him anchor down. I mean, look at that. Look at how the D tackle's pushing this guy up here. And just look at the way his body's going to kind of turn. And the way he really just anchors down within this play right there. I and mean, that's a really, really nice, powerful rep by Trevor Penning. And this play right here hits for 18 yards. A great job right there. Watch the double team block here by the tight end and Penning on the D tackle. Penning's going to take this guy and get him the hell up out of there. A really, really, really nice block by the physical offensive lineman. Look at that. Look at him finish the block. You know, one of the things with Penning that we saw in his rookie season was that he finishes things. He puts guys into the ground. It's one of the things he likes to personally do. He has that mindset. And the fact that he's starting to flash those same traits, to me, is beautiful. Right? It's exactly what you want to see right here. Finish the block. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Man, Trevor Penning really has to stay away from the penalties. Uh, you get a false start here. He's going to jump. Uh, the quarterback's going to make a change. And there it is. He jumps a little bit. All right? You can't make that mistake right there. You got to stick within the play. You got to know when an audible could possibly be, be made. And I know for Trevor Penning, he's one of those guys that's aggressive that wants to get out there quickly and hit people. And we can't have that. You absolutely cannot have that. Not a major deal. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Check this play out. The defensive end here is going to drop back into coverage. Watch as Penning's going to get set. Watch his head turn from left back over to the inside. And watch him allow the guard to pass off the blitzing linebacker to him. That's a really nice job right there. To be able to see that, pick it up. You know, one of the important concepts of playing offensive line is really to work together as a unit. Uh, when there's a bunch of guys that are kind of showing themselves and certain guys drop off into coverage, you got to be able to swap on the games, on the fake blitzes, on the simulated pressures. And in this instance, Penning does a fantastic job. And it's not even just Penning. You know, if you guys watch the right guard here with the right tackle, he's going to recognize that that D tackle is going to going slanting towards the tackle. And he's going to come back to the inside and help his running back out. As soon as he recognizes that number 56 here drops off because he knows that his right tackle will just pick this guy up. 
and he's going to come back to the inside. He's going to try to help his running back out here a little bit, right? That's a smart play right there by that guard. And we know Cesar Ruiz is a very good guard in himself. The guy's a very, very solid football player to me. I think this offensive line is arguably going to be one of the best offensive lines this year. Um, and I think the Saints offense, generally speaking, is going to be a very, very good offense. Uh, I think they have everything it takes to have a successful unit. And I think it's going to start with some of the guys up front. And I truly, truly believe Trevor Penning is going to overtake some of these other guys as arguably the best offensive lineman. I think a lot of people will say right tackle Ryan Ramshek is probably the best offensive lineman. Some people may say it's the right guard. Some people may say it's the center. I'm going to say it's going to be the left tackle. And it may not be so true today, but I think within the first six weeks, it's going to be noticeable based off of his tape. Now, with that being stated, I also want to give some credit to the right tackle here. He's going to snatch down number 96 arm. Uh, you guys watch this here in slow motion. Watch the defensive tackle get that arm into Ryan Ramchuk. It's the right arm. And Ramchuk, with his hands, is going to snatch down and break that contact. He's basically using what is referred to as a snatch move, and it works. Just a really, really nice overall rep. All right, you guys, check this out now. We're going to go ahead and get into the second drive of the game. As you guys can tell, from left guard over to right tackle, we got the second string unit in, and the only one still in is going to be Trevor Penning. As you guys know, he took 11 more reps than every other guy. Check this four-yard run out, and I want you guys to analyze Penning, right? Because the play doesn't hit for a whole lot of yards. Really not a big deal. I don't really care about the outcome of the play. Uh, but Penning's going to do a great job. You know, he has an inside reach here on this defensive tackle. And he's going to really set himself up, or at least he's going to try to. He does kind of run into his own guy a little bit towards the end of this here. So he's not able to fully get him out in front of this guy. You can see once again, he's turning his body, right? And to me, when I watch offensive linemen, the guys that are able to turn their body to create lanes on the back side, or if it's not a lane, at least they're able to kind of turn to shut down a defender. That's a high IQ football play. And in, with Penning, you can tell the guy's a very, very smart player when it comes to technique. Of course, he likes to finish his block, as you guys can see him right here. I really play until the whistle is fully blown, right? So it's definitely something you can appreciate. Check this play out. D tackle is going to try to go through Trevor Penning. He's going to try to bull rush. Him and the left tackle does a fantastic job. He's going to absolutely anchor down within the rep. And it's just a beautiful thing to watch because this isn't typical. Like the way he anchors down is, is definitely unique. You know, some guys will really try to spread the legs out as you see here, number 73. They'll drop the hips and they'll drop the anchor in that aspect. But Penning does it a little bit different. Yeah, he kind of does get his legs out, but he kind of leans into it a little bit more. And you can definitely see the way his body's slightly curved which is okay right if it works for him i think it's okay because he's able to still win the rep and i don't think it's all that important how you do it as long as you're able to do it and you can see now that we've looked at multiple clips for trevor penny anchors down that's a nice rep right there let's go ahead and get into the next play check the play out you got a double team here by the left guard left tackle the defense lineman is going to slant, so Penning's barely going to chip him, but he's really meant to get up to this linebacker. And he's going to do what he's done multiple times in the past, right? Which is basically him finishing the block. And to me, this mindset that Trevor Penning has is, is a top-tier-ass mindset. Because not every single guy plays football the way Trevor Penning does. Not every single guy goes out there wanting to hurt people. Honestly, I think like 98% of offense linemen don't have this mindset. To go out there and make sure to give this guy here the extra shove, to me, I love the mindset. It's that killer instinct of wanting to finish a block. Check this rep out. I'm not 100% sure exactly what happens on this play, uh, but you can see that the left tackle, left guard kind of go into the same guy and they kind of run into each other. And then the left guard kind of comes back, right? Because he's not sure if the running back's going to be able to pick up the defensive end or the you know, blitzing linebacker there. But the running back does a great job. Look at that. That's a really, really nice job. Now, I'm not sure exactly who was wrong between the left tackle and left guard because they do kind of run into each other. Uh, if I was guessing, I would say it had to have been the left guard because the center, right guard, right tackle all kind of go to the right. And that does kind of leave 64 and 70 to maybe pick up guy here, here, or the guy right off the screen here. So I'm not exactly sure who messes up, right? But again, it may not even be a mess up. Maybe 64 realized that 43 was not coming on the blitz. 
Um, and then he just decided to kind of go outwards. Either way, not a big deal. But do note, this was the final play of Trevor Penning's game. Uh, really, really nice game if you ask me. To me, Trevor Penning's definitely the real deal. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously, it was a, a quick video. There weren't a whole lot of clips of Penning, only about 23 clips. And I really want to just get into the ones that really mattered for us. Because there were plays like this where he does a really nice job blocking his guy. But then, you know, this play doesn't really matter because the run's not in his in his lane, right? So we skip plays like this, right? Obviously, you guys know how it goes if you guys have been on this channel in the past. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.